right, ladies and gentlemen, we got three rounds of full rules Muay Thai in the 140-pound weight class. Fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the white trim and weighing in at 140 pounds. Representing dark side Muay Thai with a record of seven and one, three by way of knockout. From Kitchener, Ontario, Damon Waitman. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the white skulls, weighing in at 139 pounds. He represents Vision Quest Muay Thai with an undefeated 6-0 record. From Bronx, New York, Michael Butters Salazar. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dress room. A nice, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to neutral corner I tell you to go to. Remain until I call you out. Remember, there are no knees to the head. We're clear on this. Touch gloves. Alex Gong. Full rules Muay Thai in effect. As we get set for our latest bout on Friday Night Fights, Michael Salazar, known affectionately as Butters, and a firefight right out of the gate against the Canadian import, Damon Waitman. Both men wearing black trunks with white patterning. Salazar in the dark blue gloves and blue gear. Damon Waitman in the red. And Butters, even though he has a great record, um, even better for it because he's Elvis Zagashi's main training partner, glory competitor. Uh, he helped me get ready for a bunch of my fights as well. Impressive records between these two fighters. Salazar 6-0. Damon Waitman is 7-1 with three knockouts to his credit. Waitman is 24 years of age. Salazar is 23. And Salazar, very well known to my broadcast partner, Mike Chirico. He's a product of Vision Quest Muay Thai, which is connected with the Westchester Fight Club. And Primo Bellarosa, who will be along later in the broadcast in Salazar's corner tonight. As you would expect, Salazar trying to keep that record perfect. Salazar chopping that leg, doing a great job. Being first, lands that overhand. Overhand got in there on Damon Waitman, who makes his first appearance on Friday Night Fights. He has Waitman second-guessing himself. Butters getting off first. Waitman's waiting for it now. Salazar hasn't been on this promotion for more than three years, but last time he did fight on Friday Night Fights, he scored a first-round knockout. A man known as Butters, affectionately, I hope. Yes, it is definitely an affectionate nickname. Uh, Butters' last fight was, for the, was at the USMTO tournament where he won the, I believe it was the amateur division, the novice division. And looking pretty experienced right there. A good first round, good technically sound first round between Salazar and Damon Waitman here. As we roll on on Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino, Ari Alagami with Mike the Machine Chirico ringside at the Broad Street Ballroom. I think a big takeaway from this round was about the seven or eight leg kicks that Salazar landed. We'll see if that's going to take effect in the second and third round. If he can still hammer that out in the second, it'll definitely have a positive result for him in the third. That's kind of our thing. We like to hit legs. Chopping legs, a staple of the Westchester Fight Club and Vision Quest Muay Thai teams. But Salazar doing some good work with the leather as well in that first round as we get our first look at Damon Waitman. who's been fighting and training both Muay Thai and MMA for about two years, a Kitchener, Ontario native. He's, that's where his school is, Dark Side Muay Thai. Trains under Daryl Marin, up north of the border. A fighter by night and construction worker by day is Damon Waitman, owns GSD Construction up in Canada. We say hello to his parents watching at home, Michael and Rachel. Waitman unleashing a couple of leg kicks early, go early on in the second round. Nice combo by Salazar the other way. Salazar has to just remember to set up that leg kick. He is getting away with just 
throwing it out there, especially when Waitman's waiting on something else. But I'll have much better results with it. Setting it up with 2-3, chopping low. Couple of 140 pounders going at it here. And both these guys look big for that weight. Halfway through the second round, Salazar trying to muscle Waitman, but Damon Waitman works his way out of the corner, and now he's throwing knees into the midsection of Salazar. Waitman in the red gloves and shin pads. Michael Salazar in the blue gloves and shin pads and elbow pads. Looked like Waitman was getting the better in that clinch there. Salazar broke it away. Good head kick. Lower leg kicks traded there between Salazar and Waitman. And you can see Waitman shook his head when that one landed. It's never a good sign when they shake their head because that's usually a result of it is starting to work even though they're trying to show it's not. Under 20 seconds in round two, Waitman comes forward with a punch combination and caps it off on an outside leg kick. Knees to the midsection. In the clinch, landing for Waitman. Nice finish there to the second round for the Canadian. Nice finish for Waitman, for sure. I think Butters definitely has the edge when it's at a distance from striking, but Waitman doing a good job nullifying that in the clinch. Salazar with a nice... Nice overhand there. Nice over, as you said, Mike. Good job with the right hand there, but down the last 30, 40 seconds of that second round... A nice high kick. At, right after this point right here is when Waitman started to kind of seize control, it looked like. And that's why I don't envy the judges, because here you had Salazar clearly winning that first minute, and then in the second, the second half of that round, Waitman established the clinch and was busier and more active in the clinch. So, again, not a job that I envy. So dark side Muay Thai's Damon Waitman coming in with a seven and one mark, three knockouts. Trying to deal Michael Salazar, also known as Butters, his first defeat in his return to Friday Night Fights after a three-plus year hiatus. Nice combo from Salazar to open up round three. And I'm sure Primo in the corner told him that he needed this round. I'm sure both guys' corners told him that, so this should be the most exciting round of the fight for sure. Waitman trying to crowd Salazar in the corner. Salazar trying to work some space and sneaking an elbow. Doing a good job creating that space and kind of negating it. Chris Wagner breaks up the two fighters. And a good nice. hook lands for Butters. Nice good leg. leg kick as well. He's got to get out of that corner and just keep the space. Good job circling out. Try to keep it at range. Don't let Waitman get a hold of him. Good elbow. It's a full rules affair. We haven't seen too much elbow work from either man so far. It does change the dynamic of the clinch, as you can see. Butter gooseneck in that left arm. And a good dump by Waitman. Under a minute to go in round three. Hanging in the balance here. Very close fight so far between Salazar and Waitman. Close fight. I like to see. Salazar come out hard and pull away these last 30 seconds. Good one two by Waitman though. As Salazar back it up just a bit. Not necessarily in retreat mode, but has the look of Salazar being on his heels. Waitman taking advantage here, Mike. Yep. I'd like to see Butters come forward, get out of that ring, get out of that corner. Active guys, both guys swinging and trading. Exchanging right hands. Final 10 seconds here, Waitman and Salazar. Going the distance on Friday Night Fights. Good fight from both these guys. Tough one to call, great fight. Very, think, very close fight. I think Butters had that first and that third round, but again, all depends on the judges. Always a risky proposition when you let the judges, the judges decide, so. Never let it go to the judges. The Vision Quest Muay Thai product, coached by Primo Bellarosa and his brother, Mark Beecher. Good timing on that dump by Whitman there. 
Some of the action from round three. Waitman, some good leather work from the Canadian. But a nice return fire. Salazar seems very comfortable countering. Very comfortable countering. Um, you know, a lot of punches. Whitman was doing a good job throwing a lot of volume, but as you can see with that replay there, not a lot made it through. So we'll have to see if Michael Salazar's perfect record remains intact after he goes all three with Damon Waitman. Our ring announcer, Connor Hall, tallying the scorecards. We go to him for the official decision. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge A sees this fight 29-28 in favor of the red corner. Judge B sees this 28-29 in favor of the blue corner. And Judge C sees this 29-28 in favor of winner by majority decision, Damon Waitman. So the kid from Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, comes into Michael Salazar's backyard and gets the best of the Bronx native on the scorecards. A very close split decision win.